Hello, and welcome to Thimble and Plume Dock and Beret Sew Along, Part 4, Constructing the Brim. You'll be needing your brim pieces, your pin and needle, scissors, thread, and of course your thimble. To get started, we're going to take one of your brim pieces, and you're going to fold it in half lengthwise. What we're going to be doing is stitching along the short end, so go ahead and pin that together making sure that those seam lines match up. Go ahead and start stitching. You can start at one end going all the way to the other side. I'm using a back stitch here, but you can also use a running back stitch. Uh, also, uh, this can easily done, be done by machine. There's no tips or tricks I have from you except just go in and, and stitch it as you would, uh, making sure to backstitch at the beginning and the end of the seam. Uh, we're going to go all the way to the fold, and then we're just going to go ahead and tie that off. Go ahead and do the other side, and then do the other brim piece. Once that's done, we need to turn it right side out. So what we're going to do is instead of clipping, we're going to go ahead and fold that seam allowance down, holding it between our thumb and our forefinger, and pushing it the outside. As you can see, it comes out really nice. Um, there, I think that the thickness that is there, everything is really nice and even. Um, you can zhuzh the fabric so that it's nice and flat. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and lay it out for to press it. Make sure that you have that seam really pushed out as far as it can go so that you have a nice uh, sharp and flat seam there. If you find that you're having trouble with that, go ahead and open it up and you can press the seam open first. Uh, what this does is this makes sure that the seam is flat first so that gives you a little bit more purchase on being able to get that seam um, as far out as possible. And you can see I, I, I use my fingers to manipulate it and make sure that it's as flat as can be. Press it, give it a few shots of steam and then flatten it even further with that clapper. And that's it. You're going to repeat that with the other brim piece, and now you're done. You've got all your pieces are constructed. Next up will be how to sew everything together. Thank you for sewing along with us. Our pattern is available at our Etsy shop, and you can also check us out on Instagram or email us. Make sure, if you want to see more videos like this, to like it and to subscribe to our channel.